Hi everyone, Teacher Mara here, and I'm gonna show you how to do some indoor skating, ice skating, roller skating, whatever it may be. Now, uh, this activity does require a carpeted floor. However, it's easily modified if you have hardwood or tile, you can always just have your little ones in socks and have them slide around on the floor doing the same similar motions that I'll be showing you in a moment. Um, but if you do have carpet, all you're gonna need is two paper plates. And this activity does work best for older children who are really getting agile and really into kind of experimenting with their bodies and figuring out how things kind of move and work. All right, so I'm gonna show you how it's done. We need our two paper plates. And you'll notice I am barefoot, um, so that will help your little one's feet kind of stick onto their ice skates, if you will. So we're gonna stand on top and we're gonna kind of push our feet across the carpet to skate. So little ones are really challenged. They kind of have to figure out how do I move my foot to make the plate slide in a way, because I can't pick my foot up, right? And it won't really go with me. So it's really fun to see little ones kind of get the hang of this. And then you can really get fancy, see if you can do some spin, see if you can go backwards, play some music or sing some songs. La, 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 And grown-ups, try this along with your little ones. It's actually really great for working all the musculature in your legs, and I'm feeling it a little bit in my core as well. So get a little workout with your little ones and go skating.